Hey, welcome everyone in the new video regarding the advanced session tutorials. In this video, we're just going to build the shrubber. What is the shrubber? Well, it is a little widget that will allow us to to see what's happening in the game, in uh, to see what's happening during the connections and of the different clients and such. Uh, it's it's basically going to be something we build in the out game menu. That's going to give us a little, a little interface, friendly interface. So, what is the shrubber? The shrubber is oh, actually, that's not called the shrubber. What is that? Oh, uh, circular. Oh, okay, never mind. My bad. Circular throbber, throbber. So, with my French accent, maybe uh, I have trouble saying that. So, we're going to have a shrubber. And the text with that, that's going to be within an horizontal box. So hold Alt, drag and drop our stuff in that horizontal box. Say, hey, that size to the con to its contents. Uh, let's not say that actually. Let's say that box is in the middle. In the middle of my screen let's say that fills everything oh no actually let's say that doesn't fill everything yep like that let's say that is in the middle so if we play oh yep with my size we have a strange strange things going on with the UI scale but so I'm going to give to make that just up. Oh, sorry, I'm going to put that on the right of my screen just like so I can see that, so I can see what's going on. And we're going to say that is going to be a variable, and it, the horizontal box is going to be a variable, and it's going to be the throbber box. And the shrubber box is going to be hidden, actually. And we're going to have a pretty little function that toggles our sh our throbber. So custom toggle throbber. Oh, actually, actually we might have some problems, but never mind for now. So. That is going to be to be the text of the throbber. And we're going to say A. Hey, we don't want that. Oh. F click gives me a loop. Okay. Nice. Nice to know. I didn't know that. So what do we want to do? When we toggle throbber, we want to say the throbber box is visible is visible set visibility visible uh, first we want to set the text uh, no we want to get we want to get our text inside that is going to be the th a variable and is going to be the throbber text and we want to get that throbber text we want to say hey what you are set text we want the throbber text to be that and we want to plug that, say the throbber box is, vi is visible, visible, I don't know. And we want, and we want our content browser, we want to get our player controller, and we want to say, we want to command that, create game, create start game, previous, previous tutorial code. Small commands, very bad commands, but that gives me a general idea of what's going on here. So when we host a game, we want to get our interface that we created, and that's our controller menu. We want to toggle the throbber, and we want the throbber to say hosting game. So I'm just, I'm just going to try that real quick, just in case that might not work. 
Oh, that's because that was because I created I put the shrubber after the station creation and also because it was pretty much instant cre created I believe so we might not even be able to see it yep but we're going to see if it's working when we join because the joining process takes way longer than the creation process process so j joining session that's not accurate because we are actually join creating and we, we, we are actually searching and joining but uh, that's going to do the, the trick for now so I'm going to host and I'm going to browse online games yep that, that is working I'm joining a session joining success and up I'm on the new I'm in the new menu the new session we're going to do that for basically everything so in and you want to put that obviously in the client part of the events because the server doesn't know about the widgets created by the clients so in the start game process we want to say hey we're starting the game game starting dot 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 and that's pretty much it for the sh the thrubber is it will evolve in the future but the logic behind that is that we want to have some, something that tells us what's going on during the delays and all, all the stuff going on in the multiplayer so game starting up it doesn't give the other the, the other client doesn't know about that obviously we're going to spawn in our level yep two players connected and that's pretty much it for that video guys hope you enjoyed it guys and ladies and gentlemen actually sorry so i hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in the next video bye bye